YouTube. This is our Wheatley 0206 again, and tonight's video is going to be an entry video for Simon Comics 100 subscriber contest. If you haven't been to Simon's um, channel, please check him out. He's got a great channel. Uh, he talks about some really cool stuff. He's got some really awesome books, and uh, you know he he collects comics and. Uh, Funko Pops and different things like that and I believe he collects a lot of Golden Age and Silver Age comics so he has a variety of things that uh, that you don't see every day so check him out and in his uh, contest his contest goes from October 28th to December the 1st and basically the requirements are you be sub to him um, you gotta be at least 16 years old and you do have to pay shipping for the items if you win them. Uh, but he's got some really great items um, that he's given away. So, And the criteria for this contest is he wants you to show a couple of collectibles that you have. Two collectibles. Uh, he wants, to sh wants you to show two comic books that you would never part with, no matter what the price. And uh, he wants to know why. We collect the things that we collect, uh, or not necessarily why, but what what uh, genres we, we collect, or what era, what age of comics we collect, and, and why we do that. So anyway, without further ado, I uh, just wanted to show a couple of my, well, one being a Star Trek collectible. This is my... Star Trek Phaser from StarTrek.com. It uh, breaks down just like the phasers on the show did. Has the battery pack over here, has Phaser one here, the body here. It's got a stand that comes with it, and a little screwdriver to mount the uh, the battery pack to the to the Phaser two. It also um, is a remote control for a TV so but it also makes all the different sounds all the different lights um, it's just a really cool collectible so and it comes in this neat little case so that's that's one of my collectibles there the second one I'm going to show is one of my Corgi Batmobiles this is the one that I bought originally back in 1975 and uh, let's see if I can get a little better and yeah, let's get to keep the glare off of it anyway it's still in the box and I've got it in this uh, plastic protector and this one has stayed in the box I bought two of them back when I was a kid I used to like to buy two of everything and put one on the shelf and play with the one so uh, I always had one in reserve of course, I never really uh, was rough with my toys or anything, so the one that I bought that I played with, it looks as good as this one does. So, <laughs> Alright, then for the next part of his, uh, of his contest, he wants to know, let me get this pulled back up here a little bit, if I can get the camera to move. Alright. You wanted to know two comic books that you would not sell for any price. This would be one, Batman 251. It's uh, something I cherish a great deal. I tried to get this for a long, long time and I finally acquired it. And uh, I won't part with this for nothing. Okay, there's that one. And then a copy of Batman number uh, Batman Adventures number 12 the first appearance of Harley Quinn definitely not gonna get this one away from me <laughs> okay so there's my two comics now as far as genres or as far as age I, I collect all um, you know from golden age to current I don't have a lot of golden age I would like to have a lot more <laughs> but uh, the price on some of the ones that I want are way out of my reach but 
Uh, nevertheless, I do have a few Golden Age. Um, I probably collect more Silver Age and Bronze Age than anything. Um, because, for one thing, Neil Adams basically started doing comic book art and revolutionized comic book art back in the mid to late 60s and is still doing covers and so on today and uh, I, I am an avid Neil Adams collector so I, I try to get as much Neil Adams stuff as I can and uh, a lot of the comics that he did that I, I like to collect uh, for instance the Batman 251 that I just showed you that was a Neil Adams cover and uh, and I'm a huge Batman fan, so Neil Adams and Batman, that's that's one of my key things. <laughs> but uh, I also collect um, every era, you know, up to current, because I do uh, try to keep up with Detective Comics and the Batman comics. And I'm collecting Flash and so on from the from the current age, so... Of the new stuff so I do collect all across the board I, I mostly collect DC but I'm collecting more and more uh, Marvel all the time uh, I do collect uh, independence to a certain extent I don't have a huge collection of independence but I do have um, comics from IDW, Dynamite, Image uh, and even some of the more obscure ones that uh, you know the aren't nearly as popular but but I do have kind of variety of that so anyway uh, that's that's kinda how I collect and uh, I do the same thing with my collectibles as far as like Star Trek my biggest collectibles are Star Trek and Batman um, I do collect other sci-fi collectibles um, I have a lot of action figures, <laughs> a lot of action figures, uh, Batmobiles, I collect a lot of Batmobiles, <clears throat> and I think that's pretty much it. I do have, I do have a few uh, Marvel characters as far as action figures, I do have some Star Wars collectibles, and uh, you know, that's, that's, the biggest part of my collection I guess but like I said mostly it's Star Trek and Batman so with that congratulations to Simon's Comics on uh, reaching the 100 subscriber I think he's at 132 right now and so congratulations on that um, really glad that you're part of our community you've got some great videos and uh, I really enjoy your channel so with that uh, I'm going to end this entry video. Everybody have a great week. God bless, and we'll see you next video.